Fractures of the pelvic ring are a major cause of destabilization and death in blunt trauma. Depending on the type of fracture and the age and pre-existing health of the victim, mortality from pelvic fractures can run as high as 33%. The preservation and immobilization of the pelvic architecture are important to the early stabilization of patients with pelvic ring fractures. A variety of commercial devices are available for this purpose. These are clinically proven, and highly effective, and generally easy to apply. The intention of this video is not to endorse one product or method over another, but rather to emphasize the general principles of immobilization. Reduction in immobilization of the pelvis is mostly a matter of finding the proper landmarks. Inexperienced providers are more likely to focus their attention on the iliac crests. However, it's important to remember that most of the architecture of the pelvic ring extends well below the patient's waist. Furthermore, because the pelvis is roughly cone-shaped, applying isolated force to the iliacs can actually worsen the displacement of injuries at the sacrum, the pubic rami, and the symphysis pubis. For this reason, it's important that any immobilization devices encompass the entirety of the pelvic ring, especially at the level of the greater trochanters. The following video offers an alternative method of pelvic splinting using a simple sheet. So, hi, we're going to be demonstrating the use of a uh, sheet as a pelvic reduction tool. This is a complement to pelvic binders that might be available. Uh, we typically use a sheet because it's readily available. It's obviously very inexpensive and because it's very uh, beneficial in reducing pelvic volume in a pelvically injured patient. Uh, we've taken a normal hospital sheet. We folded it up uh, so that there are no wrinkles present. It's uh, placed underneath the patient from the iliac wing to the greater trochanter and uh, takes uh, two individuals to provide to apply the sheet. And again, the goal is to provide compression from the iliac wing to the greater trochanter, prevent any wrinkles that are present, so it provides uniform compression. And we like to apply this using uh, four clamps on each end as opposed to uh, tying it in a knot. We feel it provides more even compression across the pelvis and prevents any uh, pressure sores that might be present from the knot. By applying the, pel the clamps to the sides, it uh, allows for x-ray evaluation. In addition, you can see that this sheet can then be, you can, uh, be uh, modified for access to the patient. Uh, cuts can be made on the sides for surgical intervention as opposed are also uh, cuts from the top for any type of uh, access to the abdomen that's necessary. Of course, if clamps or towel clips aren't available, other fasteners such as safety pins can be improvised. These images are those of an actual main trauma patient who suffered injuries in a motor vehicle crash. In the first image, notice the degree of displacement of both the left sacroiliac joint and the symphysis pubis. These injuries not only amplify the volume of the pelvis, theoretically providing a greater space for bleeding, but especially in the posterior injury, they expose major vessels and other soft tissues to movable shards of bone. After the application of an immobilization device, the potential for further injury is visibly reduced.